You know the story, you just got play of the game and you totally forgot to record it. You have no means of playing it back and sending it to your friends. I'm going to show you a plug-in for Decky Loader that will help you capture instant replays, make recordings, and I'll show you three more plugins you've got to have. Stick around. Hi everybody, Shane Armin Rowe here, and today we're going to show you four plugins for Decky Loader that you just got to have. And I'm going to show you also uh, how to use the new and improved Decky Loader, which allows you to capture 31 minute, 3 minute, and 5 minute increments in instant replay mode. The nice thing about this replay mode isn't that you have to have it running all the time, just when you're about to get to something interesting. So let's say you're about ready to take on a level of next machina here, and uh, you know you're going to want to record 30 seconds, a minute, whatever. You can hit the button and boom, it turns on the recording mode. It doesn't start recording, it turns on replay mode. So now when something great does happen, you're ready to go ahead and capture that clip right then and there by hitting the same Steam plus Y button again. Right, so we hit the Steam plus Y and boom, it captures the video and it's saved. Now it starts running the next 30 seconds, one minute, whatever. And of course, you can always do this in manual mode where you know something's coming up so you want to capture the whole thing. Just hop back into the plugin and turn on the manual record mode. That will continue to record until you shut it off. So no matter what purpose you're looking for for recording, whether it's replay mode, shadow recording, or just planned recording, you can do that with the Decky Recorder. So once you've got the videos, of course, they're sitting in your videos folder. You can open them up right here on your desktop and play them back with a great tool like VLC. And boom, you've got some video. Now, it's not the greatest quality video in the world. It doesn't take place of a YouTube content creator capture card type scenario. But when you need something quick, when you need something dirty, and you're just looking to maybe share with your friends, this is definitely the ultimate little tool for you. Okay, so I promised to show you three more. Let's take a look at another great, simple, yet effective plugin right from the Decky store. This one is simply called Bluetooth, and you should probably be able to figure out what it does. Now, it took me a little while to fully understand why this is handy. I have a pair of headphones, the Black Shark Lucifer T2s, which by the way, best latency free headphones I've been able to get my hands on. And when it disconnects, it won't reconnect automatically. This plugin gives you a quick and easy access to turning it on. Next up, something called Quick Launch. There's a lot of tools that would run in gaming mode, but you can't get to them. So with this Quick Launch, you can access flat packs and desktop files relatively easy and simply by just launching them straight from here inside of gaming mode. Really cuts down some time. Sometimes you just want to hop on a browser. Sometimes you just want to hop into an app or run a quick emulator. All of these things are possible using this Quick Launch plugin. So it, uh, it even leaves a copy of itself behind if you want to launch that tool again. Simple yet effective, and uh, you'll need to turn on the launching all apps if you want to see flat packs and desktop items. All right, the next one we're going to have to go in right now and turn on plugin store channel and set it over to testing because this plugin is only currently available in the testing store. And this plugin is called Shoddy. This does something that's very, very handy. You could, of course, do it yourself, but that's what these tools are for doing quick and dirty stuff. So once you install Shoddy, there's only one option to do under it. When you go to Shoddy as a plugin and click Aggregate, and all of your screenshots, those ones that are a pain in the butt to go digging out, all your screenshots are instantly copied to your photos or pictures uh, places. Now I have it removed because I don't usually use it, but if you go in and look inside of pictures, you'll see a new screenshot folder, and usually you'll find everything inside of a folder with the same name as the game that you were playing when you took the screenshot. This makes it a lot easier to get access to these. Even non-Steam games will attempt to show 
uh, the folder names or try to intelligently give you folder names. Very, very cool. And of course, for someone like me who hates doing any sort of file management on the deck, I can easily flip right on over to Windows and use a powerful file manager such as Directory Opus. Um, and I've got SSHFS set up so that I see the Steam Deck show up as a drive in Windows. So now using Directory Opus, I can use its flat views, its collapse views, its grouping views. So uh, it's really, really great for people who would prefer to do their screen capturing or video capturing uh, on the deck and then bring it over quickly and easily into Windows to do something useful with it. I promised you a great tutorial on Decky Recorder, and I promised you three new awesome plugins for your use. Listen, I hope you enjoyed the content. I'm Shane Armonroe. As always, thanks so much for watching, and take care.